Hi, in this topic we are going to talk a look at the common options for payables and procurement that are defined at the business unit level. You can define the common controls and default values for business units with the payables invoicing and procurement business functions. Now let's get into the application to learn more about these common options to manage the common options for payables and procurement. You will navigate to My Enterprise, go down, select My Enterprise, then Set Up and Maintenance, select the Financial, go to Down and select Payables, then Manage Common Options for Payables and Procurement. Common options are grouped into different categories such as default distributions, automatic offset, currency conversion, expense accrual, self build invoices, legal entity information, and additional information. First of all, we are going to talk a look about the default distribution related options. Payable uses and distributions defined in the common options for payables and the procurement for the liability, prepayment, and bills payable account. And these accounts can be overridden at the supplier site level in which case. The accounts that you will provide at supplier level will be considered as the default distributions on an invoice. If you have not provided any distribution account at the supplier site level, then the system will utilize the account that has been provided in the common options for payables and the procurement as the default account on an invoice. Payables also uses the distributions defined in the common options for payable and the procurement for other accounts as well, such as conversion rate variance gain and loss. Conversion rate variance gain and loss from inventory items or expense items that were accrued on receipts are going to be packed into these accounts. Variance is calculated between the invoice and either the purchase order or the receipts depending on how you match the invoice. The other default account that we provide here is the discount taken account. This is a discount taken on payment if you allocate the discounts to a single distribution. Then you can also provide an account for miscellaneous charge, distribution for voice lines with the type of miscellaneous use this account. If you don't specify your value, miscellaneous charges are prorated across invoice items lines. The next account that we are providing here is a freight account. This is used to account for the freight that you have recorded on an invoice. You can override this distribution during invoice entry and if you don't specify your value, freight charges are prorated across invoice item lines. Then another account that you are providing here is a prepayment tax difference. This is a taxable difference between a prepayment and the invoice that the prepayment is applied to. These differences are usually due to changes in tax rates between prepayment and invoice creation times. This distribution is used only if the applied amount handling option on the tax record has been set to recalculate. The another set of options that you are going to evaluate are related to automatic offset. If you enter invoices for expenses or assets, purchases for more than one primary balancing segment value, you might want to use automatic offset to keep your payable transaction accounting entries balanced. If you don't use automatic offset, payable creates a single liability accounting entry for the invoice transactions and a single cash type accounting entry 
for the payment transactions and the create accounting process the balances the journals using the intercompany balancing rules. When you use automatic offsets, Payable automatically create balancing accounting entries for your transactions. The general ledger account is that each offsetting accounting entry is charged to depends on which offset segment method you use. And the available options are primary balancing segment and all segments except natural account. Now let's understand the concept of automatic offset with the help of two examples. First we are going to take a look at the automatic offset by a primary balancing segment option. If you look at the example that is appearing on the slide now, an invoice has two invoice line distribution account combinations using two different balancing segment value. To build the liability account for each line, payable uses the invoice header liability account combination and overrides the primary balancing segment value with the primary balancing segment value for the invoice line distribution account combination. The resulting the invoice line with the account combination produce a balance journal entry by the primary balancing segment value. The second example we are going to take a look at the automatic offset by all segment except natural accounting option. In this example, an invoice has two invoice line distribution account combinations using two different balancing two different balancing segment values and two different cost center values. To build the liability account for each line, Payables uses all the segments except the natural account for each line distribution account combination and overrides all the segment values except the natural account segment value. The resulting invoice liability account combination produces a balance in journal entry. So I hope with these two examples you have now understand the concept of automatic offset. Payable automatically allocate amount for various invoice counting entries such as conversion rate, variance gain or loss, liability, non-recoverable tax for invoices, match it to purchase order, non-recoverable tax for invoices not match it to a BO, and the where no tax expense account is defined for the tax rate. And also for withholding tax, if you apply the withheld amount and invoice validation type, payables allocates amount to payment accounting entries related to cash. If you use a pool bank account cash clearing, if it also allocates the amount for discounts, variance again or loss bills payable and withholding tax if you apply the withholding amount at the payment date. You can also provide the default accounts for liability and expense as far as one-time payments are concerned in the common options for payables and procurement at the business unit level then you have some options available in the currency conversion rate or section. The currency co conversion options apply only to payable invoices and do not to payment. The options provide a setting for converting an, inv an invoice entered in a foreign currency to the functional or ledger currency. You must select or enter the options such as required conversion data entry. So what is the purpose of these options for required conversion rate entry? If this is enabled, payables requires a conversion rate whenever an invoice is entered in a currency other than the ledger currency. You cannot complete or save the transaction until a currency rate is provided. 
If a default conversion rate type is also defined on the common options, the rate is automatically provided based on that date. If daily rates don't exist for the date and the rate type, then user must provide a conversion date. If the conversion rate type is user, then you must always enter a conversion rate and if you don't enable this option after you have entered the invoice, you can enter conversion rate manually or you can run the applied missing conversion date process. Then you can also provide a default conversion date type which is automatically used on the invoices and you can change the conversion date type or the invoice entry type then there is an option to provide the released goal or sorry released gain and released loss distribution accounts you must specify the realized gain and loss accounts for payment if a conversion rate changes between the time the invoice is entered and the time of payment the realized gain or loss is calculated and recorded to these accounts. The next option is which is available here is related to expenses accrual. There are two options available here at receipt and period end. So what is the purpose of each one of them? Let's first talk about period end. During period close the accrual entry that created for all receipts that don't have invoices, if you choose this as the option, accrual entries are then reversed when the next period is open. If you choose and the receipt options, in that case, during the receiving accrual entries are created, you can override the setting on the purchase order schedule for expense destination times. Then the next one is uh, related to the self build invoices. So as far as self billing invoices are con concerned, they include the evaluated receipt installment types of invoices that are automatically created by the pay on receipt process. As in when you are going to create the receipts, second possibility of self build invoices is the debit memos that are automatically created from a return to supplier transaction in receiving. And then the third option is the invoices that the create consumption advice process create from the consignment agreement that enabled a pay on use option. And one more option is available which is related to advance shipment billing notice which are sent from the supplier for shipment so these are known as these self bill invoices and are two options that you are able to see there they are related to this type of invoices the first option is gapless invoices number which enables gapless invoice number generation this is important in countries that require gapless numbering of documents. The another option you have here is a buying company identifier. So here you can enter an identifier to use as a part of the automatically generated invoice numbers. Then you have Another section here which is used to provide the legal entity information. The sub letting applications like payables use the legal entity model to identify the legal entity that owns an invoice. Legal entity information is used for tax calculations, legal reporting and for classifications. Whether it was between two entities is an intercompany transaction or not. So here you can specify your VAT registration number state and the VAT registration number for business operations that are carried out in a member state of the European Union 
these values are used in value added tax reporting and then you can also provide a pill to location which is a default bill to location for purchase orders if a bill to location is not already specified on a supplier site assignment so this is our some common options for payables and procurement that you can review and provide the values so that these controls and the default values can be utilized whenever you are going to record prediction in the context of the business unit for which these options have been defined. Thanks for watching, appreciate your comments and subscriptions and the next video will be the invoice options configurations. Thanks.